up. Really? Yeah. <laughs> to me, how are you? Very well, thank you. Good morning, Sean. Uh, no, I'm being called out the door. What's up? Cook a little rice with it or something, will you? Something, you know, either rice or noodles. <laughs> okay, Timmy. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Why do you have to know about my rice and noodles? <laughs> huh? I didn't know what you were going to say. Rice and noodles. What if you'd walk in here and I was talking business? <laughs> on Personal like matters, Jack, possibly. Yeah. You look cute today in your red shirt, huh? All right, now, what have I got to do? It's 8 o'clock. Why are we starting now? Is it crazy? They're trying to finish you, Jack. They need to see Well, let's get them finished. Let's get them out of here. Huh? Finished with the assignment. Beautiful. Excellent work. Great work. Yeah, you want to go in with me while I go? No. <laughs> well, this is Jack. I this do have to go. It's pretty neat, huh? See? Is it working? Toothbrush? I'll brush my teeth for you, Viv. Okay. I always brush my teeth before I report back in for work. Why? Consideration for my co-workers. It's grueling enough without a face full of lamb cutlets. Mmm. They'll be so grateful to me now. What? They'll be so grateful. They'll say, look at that Jack. We let him come down. Even though it's midnight. <laughs> That's not true. It's 8 o'clock. And Lord knows what he's been doing. He's down here, and he has a fresh and sparkling breath. You see? Now, you'll have to excuse me now, because I'm going to take a piss. Thank you. You get some shots of me when I'm great looking and everything. You look at fine. You better get the first cut on this bill, Jack. Let me ask you a question, Terry. We're indoors. I don't need the big coat, do I? Not some more. Good job. Good show. There's some lights out here. Oh, I keep wanting to go in there. Plain sweater men in here, so we're probably all right. Yeah, they're not all up there, Jack. Some of them are really hard and tingy. We're uh, straight through the. Uh, straight on through. This thing will be a little lurkish. What? Look, right. Lurkish is right. Make a fire. Fire, see? Come on! Ryan, are you ready? Well, when's the show? 
the hair on your chinny chin chin then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in Three were quite good. I think the last two were the better. Previous two. Okay, okay. let him go. No, he's let's play back the last four takes. Oh, don't let's see him. Get out of the way. Go, 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 go. All I thought about is. What? <laughs> what? What do you think about? What? All I thought about is what my mom and my dad were gonna buy me. Gonna buy you? For what? With all that money. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. And did you do you know how much did you know how much you were going to be earning per week? No, really, I didn't. Did they know, tell you? I didn't know really how much I was gonna. I didn't. I didn't know really I was gonna earn any money. No, no I just thought I would just get a two dollars or so. Yeah, <laughs> so. A bit of pocket money. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and so now I know I probably have five or five or six hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find working with this little guy, Danny Lloyd? And was it enjoyable? Was it? It was beautiful. Mm. Just like my son. Uh, it you see tears, it will be tears of joy. Because I thank the Lord I'm here and was able to work with such beautiful people. I'll never forget this. Is there something bad here? Well... You know, Doc, when something happens, it can leave a trace of itself behind. Say, like, if someone burns toast. Well, maybe things that happen leave other kind of traces behind. Not things that anyone can notice, but things that people who shine can see. Just like they can see things that haven't happened yet. Well, sometimes they can see things that happened a long time ago. I think a lot of things happened right here in this particular hotel over the years. And not all of them was good. 
this is the way that I saw Boris Karloff marks his lines. I, I've copied it ever since. Then, simply by picking them up and reading, it turns me into a freaking monster. <laughs> <laughs> That's the interjection, right? Yep. I'm going to go now. I'll, I'll be back by tomorrow morning at the latest. Wendy. Yes? You've got a surprise coming to you. You're not going anywhere. Try the snow cat in the radio and you'll see what I mean. Jack, I'm sorry. I had to do it. There's something wrong with you and I had to lock you in. Wendy, open the goddamn door. Oh, I'm sorry. I really am, but I can't. Wendy, listen to me. Let me out of here, and I'll forget the whole damn thing. Wendy, listen to me. Let me out of here, and I'll forget the whole damn thing. Might be better to just play it as a medium shot with the situation. Can you do it with your head down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. Do that. Try that, sir. Wendy, listen to me. Let me out of here and I'll forget the whole damn thing. It'll be like it never happened. You couldn't, you couldn't find some way of sort of not looking at her and looking down as you say the line. Wendy, listen. Let me out of here and I'll forget the whole goddamn thing. It'll be just like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Wendy, baby, I think you hurt my head real bad. I'm dizzy. I need a doctor. <laughs> Honey, don't leave me. I'm gonna try to get Sammy down to Sidewinder and the snow cat today. I'll bring back a doctor. Wendy? I'm gonna go now. Wendy? <laughs> You've got a big surprise coming to you. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Go check out the snow cat in the radio and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> He's going to mull over it, you see. And would you like to mull over it? I'd love to mull you... over it, Junior. <laughs> you not even... No, no, no. I mean, I have some time this evening. I, no, no, the thing I is, this one... I wasn't planning won't... on doing anything for between midnight <laughs> no, and two. And... Is that's the, not the real script. It's just, this an, is idea just what you did. an idea to get started on. Very good. Filmmaking. <laughs> get these things. We make it up as we go along. Oh. Don't we, Viv? 
And why is the script in multicolored pages? Anything? Because each time you make a new version, at first you get very methodical. And each time you make a new version, you put it in a different color. After a while, you know, you're lucky if people get copies of the changes. <laughs> it's so that you start with white, then you go yeah. to blue, then pink, then green, then wondered. yellow. Yeah. But it's, what happens it's is so that when everybody's got their script out, you can look right over and know if they've got the latest version. But of course, you but never have like the a, latest blue version. Blue or yellow isn't significant no. to the mm -hmm. just colors. I quit using my script. I just take the ones <laughs> they type up each day. Aren't you exaggerating a little bit? No. <laughs> the average celebrity meets in one year ten times the amount of people that the average person meets in his entire life. And Mr. and Mrs. Pinkett, Mr. Kubrick, and Mr. Wood, and that's Mr. Val. How do you do? Well, this is just supposed to be. Hi, Mr. Nicholson. How are you? Very nice to meet you. And this is all our gang. And Katie and Liza. They're so excited. And Mr. and Mrs. Piggott. How do you do? And Mr. Willis. And Mr. Piggott. Jack's such a big star, such a famous personality, that people do tend to be a bit sycophantic with him. But uh, it wasn't everyone, but yeah. some people did. And it wasn't entirely ineffectual. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I did get jealous sometimes, I must admit. Mm. Why was that? Well, it was mostly between takes, not during work. I mean, when we were actually working on a scene, that did not interfere at all. But um, on occasions when we were just sitting around or uh, about to come to work um, or standing by in our rooms, whatever. I mean, uh, there were times where I felt a bit jealous because he got very, very much attention. And I suppose I like attention. <laughs> Oh, it's going No, no, it's okay. All right, all these out of the way. It's it just, it comes in girls and I just been Oh, dear. I just got some bear. Yes, oh, God, thank God I came out. Why didn't you shout or something? Oh, mm -hmm. I just, I don't know what the bear Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> From May until October, I was really in and out of ill health because the stress of the role was so great and the, the stress of being away from home, just uprooted and moved somewhere else. And I had just gotten out of a relationship. And um, so for me, it was just tumultuous. Look at this. I pulled all my hair. I pulled hunks of hair out on the windowsill. And the back got cut. Major trim. Like hunks of hair. Oh, look. OK. It just comes okay, out. Right now, fellas. Yep. You're right, There's right. more to come, Joe. Come on. Come on. No, I'm going to set up anyway now, boys. Let's go. Come on, Joe. Oh, Get the dummy. No, she isn't carrying him. That's right. OK, let's go. No, Can I have the finder, no. please? The 18. Hey, Gina and the tube, swing it all back in here, yeah. It's got to go outside there. What's the time? Um, it's 25 to 1. Well, I don't sympathize with Shelley. don't sympathize with Shelley. It doesn't help you, wouldn't it? Yes, it does. It does. Yes, I know. Right, okay. Uh, boys, want the video that's going to be around here? Get this all set up. Mm -hmm. Well, get us in there first.
And then you lead, if, if that's true, Jack will come in from this end and stop over here. Yeah. What's saying? Uh, okay. And, yeah, he'd run past in that okay. direction. Lead us Danny in first. Here. Come you in, want, You want Danny in first. Yeah, yeah. now, I'm, we take the 25 in your pocket <coughs> or something, because I don't know what lens we're going to want. Right. Is it? The 18 on the camera, the 25 in your pocket. Well, we'll bring Jack straight in, Sammy. And the 14, 5 in somebody else's pocket. Okay. Huh? Okay. Danny, what should we do? Bring Jack straight in? Les has to bring him in. The way we went. Yeah. We've got to do his hand and all that. We've got to do his Do it right and now. Come on. Get him in. Let anybody do it, Brian. Just get him in and let him realize we're out of time. Harry, can you check the smoke in the center, please? Are we going the right way, Les? Yeah. Uh, yes. They're coming around, sir. We're on our way in. Don't let him run. He's not able to run in a minute. Okay. Here we go. Roll video. Turn over, please. Roll video. Please, Don't look at your hands, Danny. Don't look at your hands when you come around. Keep it low. Come on. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Keep coming. More scared, Danny. Now, go. Don't be in trouble. Run, now, run. Look back, Danny. Mum has said that when you're at home playing with your friends, you like to play a movie making. Is that true? Right. And also, my friends like to play it, but they don't really understand. Oh, well, what do you understand about movie making? Well, they say, you think you're smart, don't you? You know? Well, you know, and I admit, I admit that I do think I am. Well, <laughs> when I come up against a director who has a concept that I, maybe I don't agree with it, maybe I just hadn't thought of it or whatever, I'd be more prone to go with them than my own because I want to be out of control as an actor. I want them to have the control. Otherwise, it's going to become predictably my work. And that's not fun. Well, many parts of that were good. There were quite a few... But many parts of it were very good. Let's look at it. Don't want to play back, please. Don't get up, please. You didn't do it. I, 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 through here, I couldn't tell. I, I didn't think you got mean enough at the beginning when you said. At the beginning, at the, know, uh, the transition, transition point. point. Yeah. But yeah. <coughs> right, many parts that the only thing. Come and look at it, Shane. The only part clearly wrong was at the end when you said, we've got to get him out of here, as you got strong at the end. And I think it has to be a last. <clears throat> Desperate begging, you know. And I still think you shouldn't jump on every single emphatic line. It looks fake. It really does. It looks like you. Uh, Shelley, I'm telling you, it's too many times. Every time he speaks emphatically, you're jumping, and it looks funny. So he says, I'll put on my suit and I'll No, I think that line is right. Right. When he lays down. No, I think that line's in the right place. Okay, okay Shelley, so you say, what's the matter with you first? Because what's the matter with you means, why are you so angry? What is the matter with you? It doesn't mean, what are you talking about? Well, this is where he lays down, though. That's the only thing I was thinking of. You know, when he flops back on the bed. Since that is new, I thought it, it fit, you know, what's the matter with you? If you, if you talk about <coughs> and then he blows this up. right, I'd rather say it now. Okay. Right. Honestly, okay. don't think the lines are going to make an awful lot of difference if you get the right attitude. You're worrying about the wrong thing. Can we just have a quick uh, chat about it? Where's my show? Jack! Jack! There's someone else in the hotel with us. There's a crazy woman in one of the rooms. She tried to strangle Danny. 
Are you out of your fucking mind? No. It's the truth, really. I swear it. Danny told me. He went up into one of the bedrooms. The door was open and he saw this crazy woman in the bathtub. She tried to strangle him. Which room was it? Put it inside one. Yeah. Now this is a really a nicer sound for the sort of. Get that where it's comfortable, and then. Sorry to interrupt this. Could we have a man and a woman to go and sit in the back there by the dancers? Whichever two of you like to go. Which one's there? Two, man and a woman back there. Yeah, John. Yeah. And so, uh, could you just go to one of the empty tables up there on the top, there, John? Please, up on the left. Right, you could go with John. Thank you. Uh, on the conversations, everybody, just mouth them. Don't don't speak and don't. Joe, 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 Joe. Don't nod your heads when you're talking. Just talk naturally to each other. Okay, right, let's have a big clearance in the set then, please. Okay, number one. Only people who should be there. Good evening, Mr. Torrance. Good evening. pressure on almost every movie set, and it's here as well. It's just Stanley doesn't relate to it because he is doing exactly what he thinks he should be doing at that moment about it, you know, sort of very single-mindedly. He's emotional on the set, you know. Tell him to reduce the snow. Alan, stand over here. Alan, Alan stand reduce, over here. reduce the snow a bit, Al. You can't even hear us. Reduce the snow. They can hear you. Do I have that stuff in my hand? I've got it out. Stand by, boys. Okay, Malcolm? All right, roll video. Video speed, Stanley. Right over. Right, clear back, boys. Okay, turning, Dove. No, wait a minute. Forget it. Hold it. Turn it. Keep it rolling. Keep the video rolling. Keep video rolling. Reduce the smoke a little, Alan. Reduce the smoke a little bit, Alan. Okay, turn over. Okay, turn over. All right, roll video and action, Shelley. Shelly! Cut it! Oh, come on, what do you mean, roll Two video? Seconds. We're killing ourselds out here, and you're gonna be ready. I am too, I'm standing right by the door. Should we play mood music? 
No, I can't. Yeah, but when you came out like this, you said it is. We're sitting there because they say, wait yeah. a minute, okay. and then you say yeah. on the radio, go. But when you go. do it, you've got to look desperate, Shelly. You're just wasting everybody's time. I can't even get this well, thing door open. Well, have... On the record, I got such a bollocking because they said, turn over, and they said, video rolling and all that, and I got all ready, jump up and down, and then, then they said, never mind, cut it. And then I went to take a bite of soup. The next thing I know, action said... chili. So, if it hadn't been for that, you know, volley, of ideas and sometimes butting of heads together, it wouldn't have come out as good as it did. And it also helps get the emotion up and the concentration up because it builds up anger, actually, and you, you get more out of yourself. And he knew that, and he knew he was getting more out of me by doing that. So it was sort of like a game. Anything you do as many times as a successful actor, you can't have one set of theories. You know, you can go for years saying, I'm going to get this thing real, because they really haven't seen it real. Do you know, they just, just keep seeing one fashion of unreal after the other that passes as real. And you, you know, you go mad with realism, and then you come up against someone like Stanley who says, yeah, it's real, but it's not interesting. Has it ever occurred to you what would happen to my future if I were to fail to live up to my responsibilities? Has it ever occurred to you? Has it? Stay away from me. Why? I just want to go back to my room. Why? Well, I'm very confused. I just need a chance to think things over. You've had your whole fucking life to think things over. What good's a few minutes more gonna do you now? Yeah. Stay away from me. Please. Don't hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. Stay away from me. Wendy. Stay away. Darling, light of my life. I'm not gonna hurt you. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I said, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains in. It, you just, uh, you appreciate all the pain. I mean, you, you always dislike whatever the cause is uh, of pain. You always resent it. So I resented Stanley at times because he pushed me, and he, it hurt. And I resented him for it. I thought, why do you want to do this to me? How can you do this to me? You know, you agonize over it. And it's just a necessary turmoil to get out of it what you want out of it. I mean, we had the same end in mind. It was just that sometimes we differed in our means. And by the end, the means met. And I find I really respect him and really like him, both as a person and as a director. I mean, I'm, I'm amazed. He's taught me more than I've learned on all the other pictures I've done within one year's time on one picture.